Hey guys, how's it going? Markel here, back with another video. And 60 days later with the Huawei P60 Pro. Uh, still having a lot of fun with this device when I'm using it. This is currently not the device I'm using at the moment. I'm back to using my Surface Duo right now. Uh, this is the last month for the software updates on it, so I decided to go back to that for the month of September. But uh, I have been using this, and on the last video that I did uh, when it was in Guadalupe, I used this camera to do all the photos and one or two videos that are in there. But uh, still loving the device as far as the hardware, software, you guys know how I feel. I've done a couple different videos on the software. I'm not that big a fan of the MUI skin that is on here from Harmony OS, but you know, I work with it. I'll put it that way. I work with it. <clears throat> but in this video, what I want to talk about is for people who may be reliant on Google services and you're looking at buying a newer Huawei device. One is that one is used beyond the P30 Pro, which was the last phone that got uh, Google services, which this third party is using to fool the Play Store into believing this is a P30 Pro instead of a P60 Pro. Well, there's an issue with it, okay? Here's the issue. I don't know how often you guys travel or you know what do you do, but as someone who goes outside of areas where there's Wi-Fi or you may be traveling on a plane and you're used to going to Google like this and using YouTube, YouTube Music, right? And you're downloading videos you can watch on a plane or downloading music you can listen to on the plane or you're driving in the area where the Wi-Fi is spotty or there's no Wi-Fi services at all. Well, normally with Google, you could download and this can be an airplane mode or can have no internet service at all and you can still play downloaded videos and downloaded music, right? So you can go to YouTube, you can go into your account to download, right? And then you can download into settings and you can go to uh, background and download and you can download all the music and whatever else you want to download right I don't have anything on there so I'm just gonna delete it right now you can turn it on the smart downloads and it'll download like your favorite youtubers or whatever so most of you guys are aware of this but even when you don't have the internet it'll still play whatever music you have or whatever video you have well, when it goes through this third party service, and if you notice when this turns on, how it goes through YouTube. See, it just went through a third party. It's not like regular uh, app. One second, let me go grab another device. Okay, I went and grabbed my Surface Duo to use this as an example. So it's not like when you go to the regular YouTube on here like this, it just goes straight to YouTube. This has to go through a third party and if you watch it again carefully you see how it had to go through a service and then go to YouTube that is the difference when you have to do that you're still required to use the internet so anything that you're downloading and trying to use on here when there's no internet service through Google it will not work it won't work uh, I've tried <laughs> several different ways to make it work i cannot get it to work now if you're in the comment section and you know a way to get this to work without the internet when when you're downloading youtube music or youtube videos please leave a comment below but as far as i can tell from looking at this it will not work okay same thing with google maps if you go to google maps and if you notice it went through a third party so anything that you save here in Google Maps that you would like to go back and refer to, it will not work. It won't work. You, you'll go there, you'll be so frustrated dealing with this thing. And it's because people are telling you there's Google on here, which there is, and I can clearly show you Google. But at the same time, when it comes to a lot of the services that are just beyond just opening up the app when you want to use the service, you cannot do it. So that's basically what I wanted to let you guys know when it comes to this Huawei service dude or this Huawei device. Um, 
it still has limitations. It still has some things that you can't do when you're on Google services. So that's gonna be it for now, 60 days in. I just wanted to talk about that real quick and uh, I'll be back with more videos on this device. I'll probably switch back to it in a couple of weeks um, once this phone, my uh, Surface Duo downloads and gets its last security patch for September, I'll probably switch back to this device or I may go to my Samsung S21 Ultra. Uh, I know the 22 and the 23 is out, but I still have fun with my S21 Ultra. But anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Hey, I appreciate everybody watching as always. Please like, share, and subscribe. And until the next time, guys, I'm out of here. Peace, enjoy the rest of your day.